Are you tired of sending millions of emails just to request and book equipment? Oh yeah, I am. Shh, say no more. I'll show you how to improve your equipment reservation workflow with Google Forms. Oh, that's great, man. We'll start off by creating the form and I'll show you the best way to do it. And then I'll show you some very cool hacks that you can do with it. Let's say you have a project coming up. It could be an event or a video shoot and then you or the director or the producer needs to book out gear for that project. How it usually goes is that they would email the person managing the gear, asking them if lenses kit number one or camera kit number three is available for the dates that they need. And then it's a waiting game. At the same time, the producer is drinking his fifth cup of coffee, waiting for you to check your spreadsheets and see if the gear is available and then reply. And if it's not available, that triggers a million more emails. So what you want to do instead is create an equipment request form on Google Forms. To do that, open your Google Forms and start a new form here. First, you will need to create the fields that are important to you. So there are fields that I really recommend you having, and there are some that are up to you, depending on what's important to your workflow. But for example, I highly advise that you have the email of the person who's requesting it, the name of that person, their phone number, what's the checkout date for the equipment, the checkout time, the return date, maybe the return time if that's important to you. These are just a few fields, but you can also have, and you should have, an equipment list. So going into more detail into that equipment list, you have multiple options here that you can do. If you want to split the type of equipment by category, you need to create different question boxes for each category. Or you can just put all of the list of equipment in a multiple selection checkbox style. So it's up to you. If they can only request one single piece of equipment at once, you want to have a drop down. If they can request multiple pieces of equipment, you can have the multiple selection question box. So they can select all the equipment that they need. And remember, the fields that are really, really, really important to you, make them mandatory. The ones that are nice to have, you don't have to make them mandatory. Make it easy for people to follow your Google request form. And it's also very nice if you create an open text question that's not mandatory, for people to add their comments. Let's say they requested a cable, but they need 10 of those cables, they can put it in the comments. Now just save it, send that link to your project managers, your producers, your directors, or make it available on your website. That's up to you how you communicate to your team. And now moving on to that cool hack I promised to deliver. Google Forms can generate a lot of reports. So the more you use it, you generate data. And then you can look at things like what equipment is being requested the most or who's the producer that's requesting gear the most. And that will help you make purchase decisions, for example. If you have a piece of equipment that's being requested over and over, maybe you should buy more of those. If you have some piece of gear that's not being used at all, maybe you should only rent when you need it instead of owning it. Well, if your frustration level was here without Google Forms, now it's probably about here. But this is just the beginning of the journey. We developed a three-step, easy-to-use reservation system that's going to help you avoid double bookings. Creating a Google Form was just the first step. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can now use Google Sheets and Google Calendar to create a very well-rounded reservation system.